it's a beautiful place to visit, it's a beautiful place to be, but it's hard to believe that the horrible things that have happened here. It's just so hard going back to kind of the scene of the crime. Canadian authorities are investigating a Whistler sled dog operation for allegedly slaughtering up to 100 dogs after the 2010 Winter Olympics. Nobody forced him to slit those dogs' throats, shoot them multiple times, create a mass grave. We started doing excavation around 8 o'clock in the morning. By 11 o'clock, we hadn't found anything. And I'll be honest, everyone was starting to worry that maybe we were digging in the wrong spot. Or worse, Bob Fawcett had made all of this stuff up and there were no bodies and this was all a giant waste of time. Around one o'clock, they started finding the graves. And you knew it instantly because of the smell that was emanating from the pits. I, I'm always gonna remember the smell. Bob Fawcett goes into great detail about a few of the dogs and Nora was one of them and he indicates how he missed the shot with Nora and he blew off part of her head and so there was an eye uh, hanging out and Nora was running around and so when our constables found Nora um, which is you know in a, incredible that she was a bit preserved in one sense um, being able to then identify this is exactly what happened. It was Dr. Melinda Merck, a veterinary forensic pathologist, who identified Nora. She was at my table and we were able to follow the path of the bullet from where it entered the eye socket and out disintegrating the jawbone. We were even able to trace where Bob Fawcett had sliced Nora's throat and able to show that from the blood that accumulated within the muscle layers that Nora in fact had died a slow and painful death over several minutes. She suffered. While the other teams were busy excavating and documenting the grave sites, we had some downtime. And one of my jobs was to look at these bags of puppies. It wasn't just one bag, it was six, seven. And each bag contained eight to 12 puppies. Because they weren't part of the warrant, they weren't part of the court case, but we do feel that they deserved documentation and my job was to examine the puppies to necropsy them and try and decide if a puppy had died by someone crushing their chest in which case the animal suffered or died because their skulls were crushed which in veterinary medicine is considered a humane death. 